friends welcome to my channel in this tutorial we're going to learn about charts and how we can render charts in laravel so we're going to use one package and load charts into the laravel applications this package is Evsum and laravel daily developed this laravel chart package the main benefit of this package we can render charts without interacting with javascript you just need to write two three lines and chart render in your applications like that pie chart line chart bar chart and all the configurations and installation steps and examples given into this documentation we can install this package through the composer so first of all I installed this package in my application. So let's copy this and open terminals and then we need to put this command in terminal and fire. So composer install required dependency and this package in Laravel application. Then let me start. In PM run dev, so it's not fine. Now we need to put this art sample in my application. So, first of all, I'm going to copy this into the my this functions chart and then and do not forget to import this class here so basic chart example setup here and then we need to open this form black file and here we need to render this chart so just copy this line and put here and then just copy this two line and put yeah. Render chart JS library basically load chart JS and render JS basically load JavaScript based specific charts. Let me show you into the documentation somewhere. When you put this, it's generate looks like canvas. When you put render chart JS library, it's create this kind of URL and link add with script tag in your DOM and this one is after JS loaded launch this means this render JavaScript of specific charts and yeah I think we are done let me log in and show you And you can see chart loaded now you wonder how this happen we not pass any data we just pass these chart options and chart render but in chart option we specify model and group by field you can see title everything and chart type bar if we specify line generate line you can see right now one data so it's showing like that but yeah we can specify any type of chart now 
I have one table authentication log. This table I created in previous video. How to capture authentication log. If you still not watch that tutorial, you can watch it. Link given into the description. So now I want to load this data in this bar chart. So first of all, I am going to create model because model not created. So model created and then let's open this model and just going to specify protected dollar table and authentication log save now i need to change user to authentication log and instead of created it login it group by period day and let's skip this user login history save and let's refresh yes i need to run in run dev and then let's see you can see you can set bar and refresh so now bar chart is up here let's set pi and see pi chart up here you can filter as well let's see some configurations continuous time so when put this so right now only those data appear which data have any data like 25 have a two login 18 have a two login but 19th but you see only show those that who have data but now showing all here not loaded because no data that's why not loaded here but you can see all the into the this line and you can hit us i don't it nothing happened but let change pi to bar and you can get more idea see this is blank so you can do like this as well and if you want to start from specific date if you want to end with specific date you can set range if you want to distinct data by specific field you can specify in field distinct where row if you want to add any specific condition right now we are showing all the data chart heights you can specify because right now it's taking whatever they want but you can restrict with this chart heights if you want to display data with stress for example if you soft delete and uh, by default lara will not return that soft deleted data but if you want to include in your chart you can specify with trash 
only stress means only if you want to show only deleted data you can use this only stress to chart color if you want to put any specific chart colors labels hidden stack so all are optionals but you can specify chart title chart type report type model this is required because this is needs to be make query into the database and show that data into the chart and good feature is this chart also show data from the relationship so you can specify relationship name group by relationship and method that contain belongs to relationship also you can specify aggregate function sum average count so yeah that's a good package for chart without any issue and you can use easily you can set up easily so thank you for watching video please do not forget to subscribe